G'day, this is Christine from Gecko Gully Websites. This is a website that I'm working on for uh, my client Carol, who runs a business called Maggie Robertson Design. Carol sells fabric. Um, she sells it by the metre, and I've covered in another video how I've done this, so I've, how I've allowed the customers to put in the price, sorry, to put in the length that they, of fabric that they want, so they can order, for example, 1.5 metres if they want to. The problem is that on um, Carol's old site, she was selling the products per half metre. So this price, $10.95, is not actually the price for one metre of fabric. This is the price for half a metre of fabric. So what I need to do is I need to adjust all of her prices for all of her fabrics. Now she has got 86 or something fabrics on her website so that's a big job for anybody to have to go through and individually edit every price. But I want to make a little video to show all of you just how quick it is to do bulk edit changes with WooCommerce and WordPress. Um, and I'm just using this as an example. Now if I go back to my admin area and I go to the product screen, I find a list of all of Carol's products. Now the ones that I'm interested in are all in this area. So I'm going to click on fabrics and click filter and then um, the website will ref the screen will refresh and it will show me all of the fabrics um, products now it shows those that are in the fabrics category or those that are in subcategories below that so that's why it says new fabrics because that's one of the subcategories now you can see here that the price is 1095 1095 1095 and so on and normally if I wanted to edit those individually I'd need to go over here and click on edit and then go into the individual edit um, and change those prices and it would take a long time because she's got here we are 88 of them now there is a quicker way and that is I can go here to quick edit and I can click on that and it will allow me to change some things okay um, so I could if I wanted to change the price from 10.95 to whatever twice that is um, but I would still have to do that for each product individually it's a little bit quicker than going into the edit screen but it's still not as quick as the thing that I'm about to show you which is really cool so let's just cancel that now before I show you this really neat bulk edit method, I want to point out to you that we've got around about, I think we've got 25 products per screen appearing at the moment. Now I can't remember whether the default per screen is 20 or 25, but it's it's not a lot, okay? And she's got 88 in this, um, er, this category. So if I was to do edits on all of these products, I'd have to do one screen and then I'd have to go to the next screen and do the next screen, then go to, so I'd have to do it four times. But if I want Want to I can go up here to screen options and I can say okay show me 200 products per screen and I click on the apply and we'll let it refresh now by the way this screen options thing appears in almost every screen within WordPress so um, it's a good idea to have a look at it and see what's up there because you never know what you're going to find there could be all sorts of things up there um, let me just click and see yeah so you can also choose to not display some columns if you want to and you can choose what um, you know how many are going to be shown on the screen so now that that's refreshed I've now actually got all of the products if I scroll down a bit you'll see these all of the fabric products are all on one screen okay now the advantage of that is going to become apparent in just a moment in order to do the bulk edit what I need to do is I need to go down here and I need to tick on every product that I actually want to edit okay but there's a quicker way let's just click that and they're all ticked okay if I click that again they're all unticked so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tick that and then I'm just going to look down because there's going to be some that I don't want to change. Now here's an example, example here, Koala Panel Fabric. That is not sold per meter and I can tell it's not sold per meter because it doesn't have the slash M there. So that is not one that I want to change the price of. So let's untick that one. Just go down a little bit more. I'm, what I'm doing is I'm looking for ones that don't have a slash M in here. Okay, there's one there well that's actually not correct so let's just I'll have to bring that one to Carol's attention um, scroll down here a bit more I think there's three panels let me see if I can find them all hmm okay so let me just I thought there was more than that 
Let me just go back up and see if I've missed any. I'm just going to hit pause for a moment on the video. Okay, and I found one more, which is this one. So I have unticked that as well. So there were three that I didn't want to change the prices of. One was a free one, which is I think is incorrect. And the other two were the panels. So now that I've done that, the next thing to do is to go all the way up to the top here and see where it says bulk actions. I click on that and I click edit and then I click apply. And then what happens is we get a screen like this. Now in this box here, we've got all the products that we're about to edit. So if we think, oh, hang on a minute, I didn't want to edit that one, you can click on, an X, on the X and you can remove that from the bulk edit. It's not going to delete the product or anything like that. It's just going to take it out of being edited at this time. In this box, we can, if we want to move, well, effectively put it into an additional category so if we wanted to say okay let's put it all put all of these products into stitchery tools we can do that so that's a really good way to bulk um, assign a category to a whole lot of products at once over here is the area you're going to probably use most often comments in WooCommerce for products comments refer to uh, reviews so if you want to allow reviews or disallow reviews you can um, change that in there status normally you'll be using published or draft so published means yes I want it to appear on the website and draft means no I don't want it to appear on the website effectively hiding it okay um, down here is price and sale price which is what we're going to change in just a minute so I'll go back back to that visibility is another way to hide things from the website the difference between visibility and published and draft is that if a product is a draft then um, it won't appear on the website of course but if you've got a category which is full of draft products the category will not appear on the website the category the link to the category won't appear in the menu but if you've got a category which is full of hidden products you the category um, link will still appear in the um, the menu on the website anyway that's getting away from bulk edit but that's just the difference between those things so normally here you'll use either catalog and search or you use hidden featured some of you will use featured um, if you've got a slideshow for example where um, I've said to you okay any products which are featured are going to be appearing in your slideshow I don't think many of you have that system with me but you know, some of you may do um, and so that's where you can change whether it's featured or not and here you can change whether it's in stock or out of stock that's pretty straightforward if you don't want to change these things you leave them at no change but the thing I want to change today for Carol is the price and the sale price and remember I said that these prices here are per half meter I want to change them so that she's got prices per meter so basically what I want to do is I want to increase these prices by a hundred percent so we click on price and we can say okay we can either increase or decrease the price by either a fixed amount so we could say for example we wanted to make all these ones go from 10.95 to 12.95 we can just say we would go like this so increase by two dollars now you don't put the dollar sign in okay just put increase by two if we want to increase by a percentage which is what we want to do we're going to go a hundred percent so that's what we want to do today now the sale price is very similar we can increase or decrease the sale price and what I want to do today is I want to increase it by a hundred percent but something you might want to do you might say well let's decrease the regular price by a fixed amount so for example if you say okay I'm going to give 20% off all my fabrics so what you could do there is you can say decrease click this button and then over here you'll put 20% okay so what that means is that all of a sudden all of your fabrics or whatever it is that you're selling will be um, on sale for 20% off the regular price um, it will be you'll have to go back and turn it off again when you want the sale to end but you know that's a really quick way to put all of one group of products on sale now that's pretty much all there is to it all we need to do next is click on the update button and then we'll wait for the screen to refresh and now it's updated 85 posts remember there was 88 originally and we unticked three of them so we know that there's three that haven't been um, updated and you can see that was 1095 and now it's 2190 and then when we scroll down here we'll be able to see that these prices have have changed as well now let's just go back to our website and we'll just check see these were all 1095 and now I'm going to hit 
F5 button on this to refresh this. We'll just wait for this to come back up again and these prices should have all doubled. There we go, 21.90. So that's how simple it is to do a bulk edit. Um, obviously my demonstration took longer because I had to talk to, talk at the same time. Um, but uh, you know that's how quick it is to do, to do a bulk edit. And if you've got any questions about how that works, get back to me. See ya.